Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to talk to you guys about how I managed to lose 50 pounds in a Latino household. If you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing. My name is Sandra Carolina and we talk a lot about health, beauty, fitness, a bunch of stuff on my channel, honestly. So if you have not already, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And so let's get to the video. Of course, a big disclaimer is that I'm not going to say I'm a professional and I'm a nutritionist and I'm a fitness expert. No, this is all based on my personal experience. If these tips at all help, then I'm honestly, my goal has been achieved. So today I'm going to give you five tips slash substitutes that I did all while living in a Latino household because if you guys don't know, I, I recently got engaged. <laughs> And I've been living with my parents now that Ricky and I are planning on moving out like I obviously things are gonna be different because I won't have like the temptations to eat enchiladas every day or rice and beans every day you know because I could cook my own meals but I do understand the feeling of like I'm on my health grind like I bought my my fruits and vegetables like I have my own like little groceries to make sure I'm healthy but like what does that all matter if my mom literally is gonna cook tacos dorados enchiladas a super carb loaded meals with no vegetables ever which no hate i love it so much it's just it was just hard for me to you know be on my journey but also eat really good that's why i decided to make this video because i understand the struggle and if you could relate and probably get something good out of this video then that's honestly all i want so tip number one okay but before we get to the video just so you know a little bit of my culture both of my parents are from leon guanajuato mexico so i hope that gives some context of the background that i'm from and um yeah so pretty much we eat mexican food every night that's my number one tip if you are trying to lose weight be healthy, feel better and well in your lifestyle. So let's face the facts, there's not a lot of main course meals in a Latino household that include a lot of vegetables. Personally, me speaking, a lot of the meals we cook at home, my mom and I, are not very... They don't have a lot of vegetables. I think at most there's carrots, zucchinis, um, tomatoes. So that means that we need more vegetables <laughs> so my biggest tip biggest biggest tip that's helped me out so much is to wake up in the morning and either make or buy a green juice or smoothie get your greens in get your vegetables in early and that will set the tone for the rest of your day honestly it, like you won't feel bad if you don't have a vegetable loaded dinner although you probably should but you already had all your nutrients in the morning honestly again i'm not a nutritionist but this is what helped me out so much like i literally would wake up go make my celery juice if i wanted to spice up my juice one day i would add cucumbers carrots oranges like i would get so much in that juice so i would get more benefits throughout the day and honestly you don't even need a juicer you could just get a nut bag for four dollars on amazon that's how i've always done my juices because i think i don't know i'm not willing to pay like a hundred dollars for a juicer that's my number one tip get your vegetables in no matter how you could do it get them in get your fruits and vegetables they're so important and honestly you would not understand like the difference it'll make in your day and your overall lifestyle when you include more of those vegetables that we so desperately need my tip number two is bread i don't know about you guys but i grew up eating white bread which is like bomb bimbo in our stores back now although delicious it didn't have the most nutrients so that's kind of like the shift that i'm doing now as i become an adult and as i'm growing i want whatever i'm eating to have a lot of nutrients so i could you know live a healthier lifestyle whether that may be different goals but my overall goal is to be healthy it doesn't matter if i mean a plus is losing weight in the in the process it's, if you change your bread to protein bread low sugar protein bread with a lot of fiber the best one i always recommend is chompies i find it at sprouts and honestly i recommend this bread all the time it's super super good they have the multi-grain one which is really good with some cinnamon and some peanut butter and some berries and they have the sesame seed bread which is so good with avocado or for a sandwich it's honestly it's replaced it and that 
made such a big difference in my weight loss journey tip number three is just as much as the bread let's do that with tortillas so if you are not familiar with the brand la mision you can find it at most grocery stores here in la for the most part and it is a tortilla brand however they have a lot of lines so now they have like spinach tortillas they have like green tortillas they have like this tortillas and the one that I found had the cleanest ingredient, honestly, more fiber than the most tortillas, is the low-carb tortillas. Honestly, it's so good. It reminds me of the Boyo Loco tortillas because it's that good, and I love Boyo Loco. So that's tip number three. So far, we have green smoothies, tip number three, the bread and the tortillas. Okay, and then tip number four, it is seasoning personally for me and my household we have we consume so much salt and it's like such a problem and overall i want to be a healthy a healthy version of myself and honestly consuming so much salt is not it so i have done the move to switch over to mrs dash seasoning and if you're not familiar with mrs dash i'm sure you can find them a lot of places and it's pretty much no salt seasoning if you can find no salt seasoning do it it's so good i feel less bloated more energized last tip and if you guys like more leave it down in the comment down below i could definitely make more tips i just don't want this video to be like 10 hours long so my last tip that i have for you guys is soda i know so much of my community struggles with drinking soda they they are in love with soda a lot of people are dependent on soda for a lot of their energy they rely on soda for the feeling the taste the the happiness that is like associated with soda i don't know what it is it could be a lot of reasons however one thing that really helped me in my soda problem was Lacroix, and i know this is so like oh wow you're really gonna say sparkling water is the same thing as soda no i'll never say that but i'm saying like what really helped me have the same sensation as soda was that one and celsius the drink the energy drink they have a coke um flavored type of energy drink and honestly that one was really really good it's obviously not comparison but it does taste really good if you want like just a normal soda water and you could put like a little energy flavor shot i don't know i think they sell those like gatorade sells just the flavor shots with like no calories or something like that but um there's ways to we could get around the soda problem because i know soda is a big problem if you have more suggestions on how you stop drinking soda please leave it down below i'm sure so many people could benefit from that help that personal experience i gave you my five tips on how i managed to lose 50 pounds in a latino household and i'm sure this could apply to not just latinos but so many different cultures but i just wanted to say it because i felt like it's specific to me and it's a little bit more personal to me and like who i am and i just thought that this is a be this is the best way for me to communicate what i mean with with what i have you know if you want me to make a part two let me know in the comments down below if you have any tips or tricks that you have learned throughout your journey please leave them down below we are building such a big community on being healthy on being positive on a beauty health all related like everything is so intertwined when you feel better you feel more beautiful when you when you make a change like everything health and beauty is what i've been for so long and i'm just so happy that we're finally growing our platform and continuing on connecting with each other so i honestly can't thank you enough i hope these tips help let me know if you're gonna include some of them tag me on instagram and twitter tiktok all of those i'm sandra x carolina and i will see you then i'll see you in the next video bye